Okay, let's do the squeeze theorem, which is also known as one of the convergence criteria. Now, the squeeze theorem says that let L, let L be a real number and sequences A n, B n, C n, let these be three sequences of real numbers such that such that there is a special relationship between the three of them and what is that relationship that relationship is quoted here that a n is less than or equal to b n which is less than or equal to c n so that is the relationship so a n is basically squeezed between a uh, sorry b n is basically squeezed between a n and c n for all n greater than or equal to 1 or at least for you know some n which is greater than or equal to k. So, after k terms you know it is uh, uh, basically within b n is within a n and b n ok. And what else is happening is that this sequence a, a n is converging towards L and this sequence sequence c n is also converging towards L. Then we say that b n should also converge towards L. So, that is what we have to prove. So, all this is given to us and what we have to prove is that B n converges to L. So, what is given to us? Let me just write down that given and what we have to prove. So, what is given to us? It is given to us that we have A n b n c n such that this relationship holds and this converges to l this converges to l ok we need to prove that b n converges to l as well so what do we have to prove essentially for all epsilon greater than 0 for any epsilon greater than 0 there exists a capital n natural number such that such that b n belongs to the neighborhood of psilon neighborhood of L. Okay, b n belongs to psilon neighborhood of L for all n greater than or equal to this capital N. Okay, so that is what we have to prove and what we know, what we know as of now uh, is about the convergence of a n and is, is about the convergence of a n and c n. So, let us assume an epsilon. So, let epsilon greater than 0 be given to us. Okay, let us take it as given. So, what we know, what we know about a n and C n. Let us just write that with this epsilon we can say now a n tends to L. So, that means there exists some capital M say some natural number M such that a n belongs to the epsilon neighborhood of L for all n greater than or equal to this capital M. Similarly, for C n by the definition of convergence, let us take some other natural number as a benchmark. So, let us take say P. So, there exists a P natural number such that, uh, sorry, this should be C n. So, such that C n belongs to the neighborhood, of silent neighborhood of L for all n greater than or equal to p this time ok for all n greater than or equal to. Now, our task is to somehow link n to these numbers. If we can do that our task will be pretty simple. So, definitely I can find out n say to be the maximum of m and p. So, in that case if n is greater than or equal to m ok now m and n is greater than or equal to p ok.
for n and m greater than or equal to p then this must be true for n greater than or equal to max of m and p right so that means let us take n as max of m and p such that both a n and c n belongs to the neighborhood of silent neighborhood of silent neighborhood of l for any n greater than or equal to this capital n and that's true right okay this is sort of a right rough work okay now since what do we know we know that bn lies between an and cn since bn belongs to a and c n somewhere in this interval b n lies somewhere here okay so that means b n will also belong to the neighborhood epsilon neighborhood of l okay for any n greater than or equal to this n right because it belongs to this interval a n c n that means it will also be in the neighborhood of silent neighborhood of l so therefore this implies for all of silent as of silent was arbitrary we have found out a natural number n such that b n belongs to the neighborhood of l for all n greater than or equal to capital n so that's the squeeze theorem that's the proof of it and this theorem can be used in a lot of applications